Hi, welcome to Decorate You. I'm Olga and in this video we're going to decorate your trusty refrigerator. Your fridge provides you with nourishment, delicious snacks, so we're going to repay it by dazzling it up a bit. These DIY magnets cost me under $5 to make and honestly it was a lot of fun. In this video, I'll show you what I use to make them and how you can make some of your own. To make these magnets, you'll need some magazines you're about to recycle, but I'll tell you some more ideas later in this video. You'll need some trusty Mod Podge. These have many names. They're called half marbles, glass beads. Most people use them as decorative filler. I got them in two sizes from the dollar store, a small one and one that's a bit larger. You'll need some magnets. I got these magnets at Walmart and they already have a sticker side on the back, so I don't even need to use glue to attach them to my beads. A pencil, a paintbrush to glide on the Mod Podge, or you could use a foam brush, and a sharp scissor. Start by flipping through your magazines and seeing what kind of images you'd like, like this Chris Pine one. Try to find small images that will fit in your half marble. I like this pink pattern over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my marble on top to see if it would look good. I used a pencil to trace around the marble and then cut the pattern out. Don't worry about this being perfect. Now it's time to Mod Podge. Use your paintbrush to apply Mod Podge directly to the back of your half marble. Do not apply it to the picture because it might smudge it. Gently paint a light coat of Mod Podge. Make sure the entire back of the marble is covered. Next, take your paper and put it image side down onto the Mod Podge. I used my fingers to make sure that it was adhered really well and flipped it over to see if there were any bubbles or missed spots. Next, go over the back of your image once again with Mod Podge. This time you could use a little bit more Mod Podge. Make sure everything is covered. And while that's drying, I just want to show you some other things or ideas that you could cut out. You can spell out a name or a word like love by cutting out different letters that you find in the magazine, kind of like a ransom note. Since our magnets are going into the kitchen, you can do food close-ups. There's some cool ones here like ketchup, a close-up of pasta, even a whole rotisserie chicken. If you're a fashion lover, you can go ahead and cut out patterns from fabrics, clothing from your favorite brands, or even beauty products. And if you want to just get quirky and weird, that's cool too, like with this cutout of Amy Polar Space, a dollar sign. You can even cut out your own zodiac signs. Use whatever is meaningful to you. After the Mod Podge is dry, I peeled off the sticker from my magnet and simply stuck it onto the back. I pressed down to make sure it was fully adhered, and that's it, the magnet's done. I already made some other magnets. These magnets are definitely a conversation starter and no one will believe that you made these for under five bucks. I hope you enjoyed this video on these DIY magnets. I sure did. Besides magazines, you could feel free to use nail polish to paint on the back, permanent markers. You could print out some of your own personal photos from Instagram, or you can glitter the backs of them. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click one of the videos you see here right now to watch another one by Decorate You. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.